What's up, Technoba here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Marriage Master. Marriage Master is an incredibly popular plugin that lets you marry another player in game to gain some extras, such as a shared home, teleport, XP boost around your partner, and more. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, then search for Marriage Master. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. For backpack sharing, you'll need the Mindpacks plugin. Optionally, the plugin also supports the Placeholder API, as well as Skill API and MC MMO for XP sharing. On top of that, if you want actions to cost in-game currency, you'll need the Vault plugin installed as well. To see what plugins you already have installed, visit the Install tab under Plugins. Slash marry lists all the commands for the plugin. To marry two players, a third player needs to act as a priest. Op players can set priests with slash marry set priests followed by a player name. To remove it, simply run the command again. To marry two players, a priest or a player with op will use slash marry followed by the two players' names. To divorce them, run slash marry divorce followed by one of the players' names. Slash marry list lists all of the married players on the server. We can see a list of priests with slash marry list priests. This also means that we need a third player. If I try and run the command from one of the two marriage participants, then it won't work. You can also run the commands via console instead. Now onto some perks. Slash marry TP teleports you to your partner. Slash marry set home sets a shared home for both players and slash marry home takes you back there. Slash marry chat followed by a message allows you to send messages directly to your partner. Slash marry chat toggle automatically sends all of your messages you send in chat over this hidden chat instead. We can enable friendly fire as well. Slash marry PvP on and slash marry PvP off toggle whether you can PvP with your partner. Slash marry hug gives your partner a hug. Slash marry kiss creates some simple hearts around both players with a message in chat. Slash marry gift gives the item in your hand to your partner. Slash marry scene displays if the other player is online or not, or the last time that they were logged in. Assuming you have the Mindpacks plugin installed, we can use slash marry backpack on or off to enable or disable the ability for your partner to access your backpack. Slash marry backpack opens your partner's backpack. Slash marry version displays the plugin's version. Slash marry update downloads an updated version for the plugin if there is one. And slash marry reload reloads the plugin from the config files. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There are two files and a lang folder. The lang folder contains files for different languages. By default, English is the only language here. en.yml and items en.yml let you customize how the plugin talks back to players in chat. en.yml has general language customization for the plugin, and around line 300, we reach options to change how the help menu is ordered. Around line 393, we can change what the placeholders are replaced with. This is what requires the optional placeholder API plugin to work. For more info on placeholders, the wiki is linked right above the options. Items en.yml contains a list of items and item names. This file shouldn't usually be edited. Info for editing can be found at the top of the document. Database.db is the SQLite database that contains info for married players on the server. Config.yml is where the rest of the options are found. This file is very well documented. Each option and toggle has some info above it on exactly what it does. To keep from reading the file completely, I'll touch on a few important settings. At the top, we can change the plugin's language, assuming you've added another language file. Line 16, we can change the database type if you'd like to use a MySQL database instead of an SQLite file. Line 53, we have the general marriage options. We can disable the need for a priest, allow multiple partners, and more. Line 62, we can enable surnames. If we enable this, we can use slash marry surname in game, followed by a player's name and a surname. This sets a surname for both of the players in the marriage. However, this won't be seen in chat until we enable the suffix option around line 87. This will put our name and surname in chat instead of just our username. The prefix lets us display our partner's name in chat before hours if you want. I'll set one for myself and then type something in chat. 
Line 118 Bonus XP lets us customize how XP is created or shared when the two players are next to each other. These options work in vanilla servers, but of course we can customize skill API and MCMMO settings here as well if you have those plugins installed. Line 157 are the range options. This is where we set how close the players need to be to each other in order to use certain actions. Line 187, we have economy options. This is where we can make actions cost in-game currency. Each player pays half of the cost for marriage and divorce. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.